This is another one of those running thoughts I have right now, and it's something to do with the movie theaters and the recent success of Tubi. Now, if any of you don't watch Captain Midnight, very much would recommend watching his video, uh, Tubi is the Kawaii king of streaming and beating Disney. Uh, I like Midnight because he doesn't do more reviews, he more so does discussions and kind of his own observations of what are going on, what's going on with media events and just streaming sites, shows, all that stuff. I always enjoy what he does. But his recent one was talking about how Tubi in the month of May was the most watched uh, numbers for that service. Now, for those of you who don't know what Tubi is, Tubi is a free streaming service. It is free. Um, there's ads uh, plenty, but it's free. It's kind of funny because Crackle tried this like, what, 10 years ago and it kind of fizzled and died. Tubi is doing so well right now because of how many other streaming services are, are demanding so much. Um, the majority of Tubi's catalog is also just shows that we used to watch and movies that we used to watch. Um, yes, they have some of their own original stuff, but it's like minor. It's like what we used to like Netflix for, essentially. Um, but to put the numbers in, uh, they had an average of 1 million viewers, uh, upward of 46% from the year previous. And they even edged out Disney Plus for the month of May, which only had 996,000 uh, nice viewers for that year. Now, obviously, that's not a huge change, but when you compare what Disney Plus is making and what they have compared to what Tubi is, technically speaking, just offering what we had in the past, that's nuts numbers. And I really hope that theater chains start to see this. And I think they somewhat have, at least for an extent. They started showing a lot of older movies. And when I say older, I'm talking anything from uh, Lord of the Rings, the trilogy, to uh, going all the way down to where we've been... They, they show Paths of Gro like, And going all the way down to Path of Glory, they were showing a bunch of, of Kubrick movies. Now... I don't know how it is with other people uh, in Canada, especially with their Cineplex, with how Cineplex operates with them. I wish that there was at least one or two people who were dedicated to marketing the theaters in the area and just saying, hey guys, guess what? We're showing these. Because if you did not look yourself at the, at the theater listings, you wouldn't know. There have been some times where I have been notified about stuff being shown. Like, for instance, I only found out that Saving Private Ryan was being showed on the anniversary of D-Day. Um, they were showing uh, them for a couple of days before and then on the day of in theaters. I only found that out from a Facebook ad about a day before it was about to happen. And then same for Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, they were doing a lot of advertising for it. Rightfully so, because the theaters sell out every time they do it. But then there's other ones. Like, they showed My Fair Lady. They were showing Gone with the Wind. I didn't hear a fucking beep from anything. From their Facebook, from their Twitter. Which I I will admit, I don't really look at their Twitter that often. So maybe it has been. But I just find it so bizarre how bad my local theater chain is when it comes to showing what's happening in theaters. There was a time where I was actually doing Instagram stories saying what was being played at my local theater uh, for other people, but then work and everything has just gotten so crazy. I haven't had the time to do it in the last while, but once uh, the season dies down for me, I'll get back to doing that because it's a shame that these movies aren't being talked about because people will go and see them. Hell, when they were doing the 20 or 30th, 30th anniversary for The Mummy, there was a lot of people who were in that theater, like more than you would expect. Um, not just because of the film's pedigree, but just for people going to the movie theaters in general. Like, theaters are dying. I know they say that every day, and it's kind of like a broken record at this point, but it's not untrue. And if anything, it gets worse every day when you see big movies like Furiosa not doing well, the box office. Um, it's kind of unfortunate. It's, it's sort of a sad thing. And so that brings me to a point of why Ooh, gee, I feel that if movie theaters did more in terms of advertising what the older movies they were showing, I think they get a better draw that would help them with what's going on. The drive-in uh, in my uh, old hometown, even though it's basically going to be shut down this year due to landlord and rents and bullshit, um, they have been showing everything from what's new to what's old. 
they they are showing a movie every single fucking day and i applaud them for that um they're going out swinging obviously but that's something i feel like other theaters should adapt to and there are some theaters that i know don't have the capability to because of their screenings and their obligations with major studios to show movies certain at um and that's kind of like golden handcuffs I remember when I was living out in a rural town that had one show theater, they were not allowed to show anything else when a Disney-related product came out for three fucking weeks. They had to show Captain America Civil War for three straight weeks before they could show something else, and that was a obligation, that was a contract demand that Disney had, the cocksuckers, which was ridiculous because then it damaged not only the theater itself but also the other movies that should have their time in the in the sun because no one's going to see captain america in a town that is only showing it like for three straight weeks like yes you may love the movie but i guarantee you there was like two or three people in that theater (laughs) when they were showing it for the last week full week it's it's ridiculous anyways my antithesis to all of this is that i think we should consider being more subjective to or more open to showing older movies in theaters and talking about it because that will get people back i understand that you can't do as high of a ticket price as normal movies are but at this point you need fucking anyone in your goddamn theaters um it's why a lot of theaters even like there were some theaters more so in uh, nearby areas that were doing it and now the main theaters are doing it too just not just the one i go to but a lot of other ones they've been showing a lot of south asian movies and the reason why they're doing that is because they know that they're bringing in a draw bollywood has huge draw when the films are successful especially was that ran or whatever that came out a few years ago or that that was like one of the biggest hits of the year So, yeah, I think that they should start thinking about this because they're making some compromises and some changes to stay alive. Why not be more open to showing older movies and telling people that they're showing them? Just fucking talk about it, for Christ's sakes. The fact that so many movies are being shown in the theaters in the last little while and not a single fucking person knows, considering you have the ability of social media, use Facebook for fuck's sakes. Anyways, those are my thoughts. Very curious to see what you guys think of that idea. What would you guys think? What, what out of all of the options that these theaters have right now, what would you think is a way that they can kind of combat what's going on with streaming and everything else? And yeah, drought like that. Anyways, very curious to see what you guys have to say to this. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you later.